Hi, this is T. Gray from Ecology Artisans, and I'm going to show you how to use the Natural Resources Conservation Service, the NRCS, in the United States Web Soil Survey. It's really simple, very quick, and it gives you at least a good brief overview of what type of soils and underlying geology you have for your site. It's free, really easy to use, and I'm going to walk you through that with this short screencast of Josh Robinson's and Brooke Sarson's new land up in Valley Center, where we're doing a restoration agriculture workshop with Mark Shepard this week, March 10th through the 14th. Really looking forward to it because we're going to be installing one of the first restoration agriculture systems here in Southern California. So basically go to Google, type in web soil survey, click on start WSS, come down, you can see that you can click these headers will open the different sections and this is where you'll enter in your address. So I've already got it entered. Click view top or bottom and then you should have the view extents already so you just draw a box, a marquee box around the area of your interest. So I'm just finding you know a good portion of what's off the site and what is on the site so that I can see what the neighboring geology is. You may also want to look at what your catchment area is too when you do this and see what other soils might be coming onto your property. Then you go up to the AOI polygon and you just start clicking around the perimeter. It's quite easy. If you hit escape, it'll cancel everything. You just keep clicking your points and then at the very end you hit enter and that'll confirm that you're done clicking your points. So let's go up, put in my points, hit enter. And it'll create your area of interest. That's what AOI stands for. Okay, so now we've got our area of interest. I'm going to just walk through a couple things pretty quickly. More interested in the soil map itself, but you have a lot of cool tools at your disposal. Soil Data Explorer. Just look through the list. I mean, choose what you want to focus on. Great stuff. Vegetative Productivity. This is something awesome for our friends out in the Midwest or anywhere where you're going to have a lot more land is that there's been focus on what's in those soils to produce our GMO corn and soy and all these other things of the old paradigm and using annual staple foods instead of perennial staple food crops like we want to change. So people like Grant Schultz over at VersaLand can totally rock out, use a lot of this information, click view rating. It would apply. Obviously, it doesn't work here because we don't grow corn here anymore used to back in the day in small parts, but we've definitely diversified due to water shortages and just poor soils, or at least uncared for soils, because you can pretty much rehabilitate anything as amazing people have shown us at Permaculture Voices. So again, just go through, play around with that. I'm not going to go through all that in this. There's also some more download soils data, but what we want is jumping over the soil map. So again, you can see that this is the largest area. This is the Fallberg Vista Sandy Loams, 15 and 30% slopes. How much of the percentage of the AOI it takes up? That's basically 10 acres that we have to work with. This is the area we're focusing on with doing the key lime plow and subsoiling. This is a lot of rock up here with the dead avocados. And then you can just find each key, come over, check it out, see what's going on. Then when you want it, you jump over to the shopping cart. Everything's free. We pay for this with our tax dollars, so let's all use it. I like to put in a custom subtitle for my client, just the name of the farm or the place or the client's name, address, fit to one page, portrait. I love showing the coordinate ticks, really helpful. Here you can customize what you want to see in the report. Right now I'm leaving it for everyone, uh, all checked for our workshop attendees so they can just see what's there, but I usually just like the soil map. Maybe the house soil surveys are made, these you can't change, and then I take off the references and glossary. And then all you have to do is click check out. Get it now. It's going to generate this custom soil report. And it's built. So now what we've got is Poco Pico Farm. Not the name. I'm just using it. It means Little Peak. And this is our pretty area of interest. Cute little scale. Preface, blah, 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 blah. Contents, blah, 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 blah. How soil surveys are made. This is good. Maybe your client might want to know what's going on with this data. It helps kind of give you a little more validity because it comes from our amazing government. Soil map. Amazing waste of paper. I like sometimes taking this open into preview so like I can 
save it, open in preview, and then I can delete pages where it just isn't important so I don't waste it for printing. Or you just email the person, let them have the albatross around their neck of printing sheets of paper. This is the best part. This is the custom soil resource report, soil map. This is just all demarcated, you got a scale. You almost pretty much have contour lines in some way <laughs> of what's going on, at least a vague idea, but you can apply a topographic map over this, do whatever, play with it. Everything's already set up, it's really great. Obviously I didn't get too nitty gritty. I think the edge of the property is actually right about here and it goes to here, it might come in a little bit, but you get the idea. Map legend. This is where it gets into the details, descriptions of what it is. This part's good, but it's kind of a waste of paper too. This is where it's really nice as you get the full detail of what's going on with each of those areas of interest within the land. And that's it. So I hope you enjoyed this walkthrough. I've really enjoyed using it with my clients. It helps just clarify. And again, like everyone was saying at Permaculture Voices, the data is going to help you determine. It's going to be your limiting factor. That way you don't have to be guessing what, what ifs. And it really helps you guide the design. If you'd like to see more of these types of walkthroughs, we'll be sharing them more and more on our website, ecologyartisans.com. We're based out of San Diego, California. We're currently running the Restoration Agriculture Workshop with Mark Shepard here in Valley Center at Josh and Brooks property. This 10th through the 14th. Their space is still available. If you'd like to come for just part of the time, we can work out a deal. So definitely reach out to us at info at ecologyartisans.com. And then you can also schedule your consultation with us to check out your site and also install it if you'd like to. Get free landscaping tips in our general zone in addition to the broad acre work. We have a portfolio team blog. And I'd like to promote Diego Footer's amazing work and everyone who volunteered and attended the Permaculture Voices 2 down in San Diego this past week. Five days of awesomeness. I've got recaps of each day up here for your enjoyment of the talks and workshops that I participated in. I'll be putting days four and five up later next week once the workshop is over and I can catch up with my family and all my other work and my clients that are currently on the back burner. But you can go through here. This is Stefan's work, which is really fun. I really enjoyed that. And I also have notes for a lot of these where you can go through and actually read what Stefan shared with us. And please always reach out to the people who are in here for information. Like Curtis said, Curtis Stone said, if I just had paid someone a hundred bucks who knew what they're doing, I wouldn't have to spend all that time. I believe it was Curtis, so apologies if I got that wrong. It's probably in one of my notes. But just go to the, go to our elders and really seek out the knowledge and information that is already existing. Pay them, value them, and make it better. Really hope you enjoyed this walkthrough. Again, we'll be posting more and more over time and looking forward to seeing you out there. Cheers. <laughs>